Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today is a short little project share for a couple more of the dies from Scrap Dude with Designs from the November release. Um, here is the website where you can find the dies. Oh, hopefully my bird's not going to scream the whole time. Dang it, he hears me talking. Sorry guys. <coughs> um, hopefully he stops. Uh, here's all of the um, social media you can follow along. Okay. So the first die I played with was the oven mitt set. This is so cute. So it has three different sizes of oven mitts. Now it can be an oven mitt or it can be like a mitten or whatever you want it to be. It also comes with these um, three sets of you know, the si sized differently for each size of the mitten. Um, some of the, um, you know, some hearts. It's these tiny little bows that are really cute. And they each have this um, um, embossing plate that you can put in there so you can make a, an embossed design on it if you want to, or you can, you know, not use it. It has a, um, you know, like a scalloped edge, a regular edge. So very cute. I, on this one, I made uh, mine uh, mittens. So I used, um, here's the big one. Okay. So on this one, you can see back here, I did use the embossing plate on this one because it was a light color and kind of more, it wasn't plain, but it was more plain. I, it was just white with the black polka dots. I had these cute little green diamond dots to inside all the dots. This here is some more of the fantasy flower. This was released last month, but I just got it. So I wanted to try it out and put it on here and then um, the collection I'm using for this is the um, Dear Santa from Simple Stories so it's a more traditional color with red and green and has some blacks white off-white so anyway um, I cut this this part right here let's see does this part come with it or do I layer it okay this part is what I did was um, Cut it out again out of green and then i just trimmed it off up here so it would have like a trim this is the green part here i stitched this whole one i put some little pom-pom trim underneath there and then this is what the bow looks like that comes with it so it's a layered um layered bow it's really cute so i backed mine with 110 and then i also um, didn't attach it up here at the top so something could stick in there if you want to i didn't glue it down very well but i, I could like you know, stick a tag or something down there if I wanted to, but I wanted it to be sturdy. That's why I went ahead and just went ahead and backed it. So that's the large one. Here's the medium. Okay. This one I stitched also, but this one I did not emboss, but again, I cut out the top and layered it up on foam. Okay. And then here's the small one. This one I didn't stitch or emboss on. So <clears throat> you can see the difference. You get tons of different looks and you could make it oven mitts <clears throat> if you wanted but I wanted to make these kind of more like a mitten so I went ahead and did that for those three so that's your three different sizes right there okay and then the next one I played with was the um, <clears throat> gingerbread girl bag toppers so this is what the set looks like there's two sizes a large and a small it comes with, so you got your bag topper part, and then you got your gingerbread. Um, and there is a regular, uh, just the outside shape of it, and there's also a stitch, stitch layer, so you can layer them up. Um, you get, like, the dresses and the bows and the hair, eyes, a little flower, the um, collar for the dress, that kind of stuff. So... Here are mine. Here's the, of course, the large, and here's the small. I um, decorated them the same. This is a cute little bow that comes with it. Underneath, there's the hair. I pop the hair up on foam. I pop the dress up on foam. Okay. Um, my eyes, my face. <laughs> I didn't. I forgot about the face until the end, and I didn't want to piece together both little things in. So what I decided to do, I had this set. This is an old set I had in my stash. Um, Shake your snow. Um, it's from KS Craft. 
uh, but it, it came with these um, stamps, so it's snowman stamps. I need to order me regular face stamps. I don't, I was looking through and I don't have any, only the snowman one. So what I did was just ink up the eyes and eyebrows and then, you know, kind of cleaned off the rest of the stamp and stamped it. But what I wasn't thinking about is I, I'm on this kind of slick glitter paper and it didn't stamp very well. So it kind of shifted, it kind of shut, you know, so anyway, but, and of course I did it the last thing. So my whole project will be ruined if I can't make it work. You know what I mean? And I never learned my lesson about that. I always do that and <laughs> stamp at the end and like, ah, I just ruined my whole thing. But I think I got it to where it looks okay. I did go ahead and cut out the mouth and piece that in. Um, and then I just took my uh, jelly roll, white jelly roll, and kind of put the eyes in there. So, and then I took a black pen and kind of just tried to make it look a little bit better. <laughs> so I just got some little decorations. This is, this, this is the um, flower that comes with it. It's got two layers. Here's the cute little dress that comes with it. And then it has this collar piece. Now I didn't... Um, it has the little things for the frosting on the arms and legs. I didn't cut those out either. I just decided to draw them in with my jelly roll. So, put some um, little dainty lace trim up there. And there we go. We got a cute little bag topper. And then this is the same thing, just the smaller one. Very cute. This one's a little bit more messed up in the face, but you get the idea. <laughs> uh, learned my lesson about that on, as you can see, it's see it's the slick glitter stuff in it yeah it just kind of slid a little bit and I you know I didn't I wasn't thinking straight so there's those two and then the last one I played with that I'm sharing this that I'm sharing today is the Santa boot mini album so cute you get your Santa boot you get the layering piece you get the layering piece for up here on the like the cuff you get this little, um, like the belt, and then there's the buckle. You get this set of flowers to go with it. You get the set of like pine needles, and you get a set of bells to go with it. I didn't use the bells, but I did use the flowers and the pine needles on my project that I'm gonna share with you. So here is what I made. I think it turned out really cute. I put some, this is that um, kind of black and white um, I received this on a swap and I saved some of it. I saved all of it. And so that, I thought that would look good with this one because it has some black in it. And so I used that for the, <clears throat> for the trim, right? I put some underneath here under the belt and then I put some out the top. So, and here's the pretty flower that comes with it. And I just used a gold sander. This is a chipboard piece under here. The cuff I um, cut out and then layered up on foam. Here's the pine sprig things right here. <clears throat> Another one of the flowers and I put a fabric bow on there Chipboard piece and then a sticker from the collection and then some of the um, Enamel dots this part right here um, What I did it doesn't come separate pieces, but what I did was I Ran this piece through again. Let me take this out and show you So on this one right here, you can see this part right here. And it's, you know, it's got the kind of like the embossed line. And so what I did was I just put a piece of black paper, you know, about up to here, ran it through and, and then just, you know, just trimmed this where, where the embossing line was. And so I have my little black pieces and I just glued them on there. I did go ahead and make mine a bag or a box, whatever you want to call it. Um, the back I didn't decorate, but um, this can hold a lot of stuff. Now I was going to use my um, bag maker from Scrap Do, but for some reason I can't find it, and I don't. I must have it in with something else, and I'm not realizing it. But so anyway, I just made my own. I just cut out like a two-inch piece of paper, and you know, scored it and glued it on, put a bottom on. So it could hold all kinds of stuff. You know, you can put pencils and pens and you could put you know quite a few cute little things for a swap in here you can make like a floral arrangement you know put in some you know different sprigs of stuff so very cute and that's just you know tall stuff sticking out so um you could you could do a lot with that so really cute love that and then you could just make it just like a um 
just like it was intended as a uh, mini album or just a flat piece of, you know, flat decoration for a scrapbook layout or <clears throat> some bigger project. So I think that's turned out really cute. So anyway, that is the Santa Boot mini album. So that's my share for today. Um, I'll be back with more projects. I already have one made and the other one in the works, but I'll, I'll share these um, with the next um, batch that I share. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I will link Erica's website. I will list my discount code. So feel free to use that at checkout. It'll save you 10% off your order. Um, I will link all the dies that I used. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.